One of the most important things we need to consider when we talk about Latinidad is how we are personally racialized. My Latinidad is not the first thing that enters the room. My blackness is. Hi, my name is Melania Luisa Malte. This is a word on why afro Latinx should be added to the dictionary. Dicen que soy Latina. Until I start talking about colorism, until I check them on erasure, until I choose to speak on my own behalf, until I remind them my Afro comes before Latina. I am a poet and a storyteller, and I write about my experiences as a Black Latina. My parents are from the Dominican Republic. Afro-Latina means you're a descendant, so it means you have roots in Africa, right, because you have the, you're a descendant of African ancestors, and that you also, because of geographical location, because of our history, you also have roots in Latin America. I was coming up with a poem about mostly my own identity, because I had been calling myself Afro-Latina for some time, and I was like, okay, well, let me see how I can kind of help people understand what it means to be Afro-Latina. And so when I started writing the poem, I was like, well, let me do some research on what the textbook definition of Afro-Latina is. And I found that there really wasn't one because it wasn't even in the dictionary. And so I was kind of in like a moment of rage and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna show them. And I was just like typing on my keyboard. I was like, Afro-Latina is this. And like, look how she's erased. And I was like, merengue, bachata, salsa, rumba, tango, samba, name a beat her hips haven't formed and twerked into baile, into ritmo, into musica, you know, and I kind of got overwhelmed with it because I was thinking like there's so much of African culture within Latinidad, yet black people are never centered. Within the conversation of how do we get Afro-Latina in the dictionary is to, to say, hey, this is not okay. Latinidad has never made me feel seen. Latinidad has never really um, made room for me. And so here I am creating a petition to help not only raise awareness, but to also acknowledge that my experience within Latinidad has not been so great. One of the things that I wanted to address, and I address a lot in, in my poem and in, in the petition, is how much white, white Latinidad protects white supremacy. Miriam Webster, however, does not consider the term Afro-Latina a word. To them, America's most trusted dictionary, Latin American people of African ancestry do not exist. It is merely hearsay. What I was most surprised about was that when I did research on looking up Latina, I saw that the gender neutral term Latinx was added. And yet in the same year, I was petitioning for Afro-Latina and Afro-Latinx to be added and it hasn't still been added. I feel like all of the dictionaries should, if, if they have Latinx, and if they have Latina, they should have Afro-Latina because I feel like it's a part of the conversation. It shouldn't just be one narrative of the conversation. And that's really where my issue lies within Latinidad is, is that it's always been one narrative. I think it would be, for me, it would mean a step in the right direction if we could actually get Afro-Latinx in the dictionary. If we're not honest the way the little things affect us, how can we really be honest about the way those in, in, in power who create systems that constantly derail the livelihoods of black folks and indigenous folks, how can we truly have change if we're not even dealing with the small microaggressions that make us feel invisible?